Welcome all. In the last video, we saw how to deploy traffic. And in this video, we're going to see how to set up routing, how to configure traffic, how to create ingress routes, how to route the incoming request to the appropriate services. I still have the same setup as in my last video. And if I show you kubectl n traffic get all. So we have traffic still running and I need to start my port forwarding again. Here we go and if I open up localhost colon 9000 slash dashboard right so that's our traffic dashboard this time we are going to see how to create some simple ingress route so for this I'm going to deploy few nginx applications nginx deployments let me go to my kubernetes directory because I've already git cloned my kubernetes repository from my previous video and in Kubernetes CD to YAMLs and in here CD to ingress demo. And in here I've got three Nginx deployment. If I show you Nginx deploy blue, Nginx deploy green, Nginx deploy main, they're all pretty simple um, Nginx applications, Nginx deployments. Cat Nginx deploy main.yaml. It's quite simple, just a normal Nginx deployment and Nginx deploy blue is again going to be the same but with some text in it which is in blue color just to differentiate between these Nginx deployments. Okay, as you can see here, it's still the Nginx container uh, but I'm also running an init container that mounts the user share Nginx HTML path and it writes an index.html file with this content. I am blue in blue font and similarly if I show the green it's exactly the same and it has a font it has a text saying I am green and green will be in the green color that's it so I have these three nginx deployment to play with so these are just a normal deployments I'm going to deploy them kubectl create minus f nginx deploy main nginx deploy blue nginx deploy green three deployments created kubectl get all i can see these are getting created at the moment and i'm also going to expose these three deployments as three cluster ip servers i don't have to expose them as load balancer or node port because we are not going to access these services directly we are going to access them using the ingress so ingress controller the traffic ingress controller will route our request to these services inside the cluster so we don't have to expose these outside the cluster kubectl get all right all of our nginx ports are running fine now let's expose each one of them kubectl expose deploy nginx deploy green on port 80 i'm not passing any type because the default is cluster ip and the same for blue if i spell it correctly and finally nginx deploy main Right, kubectl get pods, we have three nginx pods, kubectl get service, we have three services, these are all cluster IP service. So as of now, you won't be able to reach this service, right? So we need to configure ingress route. We need to create ingress routes to tell traffic how to route incoming requests to these uh, backend services. Right back in the traffic terminal, sorry, traffic dashboard, you still, you won't be able to create any ingress routes through the dashboard. It's just for viewing purpose, read only. But once we create it from the command line, you will be able to see the routes here. Right back in the terminal, in the same directory, I'm going to cd to traffic and then to simple ingress routes. That's where I have all my manifests to show you for this video. Right, what have I got here? I have these YAML files, one ingress route. I've got like six examples to show you. Let's take a look at the first one. One ingress route.yaml. Okay, so this is how you need to be configuring or creating an ingress route. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating an ingress route. If you look, the kind is ingress route and the name of this ingress route is nginx. You are saying traffic, how to route at particular traffic. So that's what you are doing by creating this ingress route. Route. name is nginx we are creating this in the default namespace entry point is web and in the dashboard you've got as i told in the previous video we have three entry points one for traffic
traffic itself that's how we are accessing the dashboard and one for web for plain http and one for web secure which we will see in another video right so this one is using the web entry point and the route is okay so there is a rule you can create you can use as many rules as you want so this is a simple route with one rule what i'm saying here is if the request contains nginx.example.com as the domain name then route the traffic to this service nginx deploy main service so if i do kubectl get service as you know we've got the three services that we recently created and if it's nginx.example.com route me to this particular backend service which is inside the cluster so we're not accessing this particular service directly but through the uh, traffic ingress controller and let's create this and if i do kubectl get ingress routes i don't have any ingress routes there's no routes now and kubectl create minus f okay i've created that ingress route which one it's this one with one rule in it if it's nginx.example.com forward route the traffic to this particular service kubectl get ingress routes nginx we've got that kubectl describe ingress route nginx and you can see the specification here entry point is web it's exactly the same that we created okay time to verify time to test if this is actually working if i type nginx or example.com in my browser it wouldn't know where to send the traffic to okay let's try this out nginx.example.com it doesn't know how to follow the traffic it just says so that's my isp but it doesn't know where to direct the traffic to so if you've got a dns server you need to add an entry to your dns server let me show you what you need to add if i do kubectl minus n traffic get all so as you see we've got the traffic pod running and there is the traffic load balancer service so that's the load balancer ip that need that you need to add in your dns so because i'm not running a dns server i'm going to add it to my etc host file load balancer ip address so that's a single load balancer ip address we are going to use for all of our services and depending on the domain name depending on the host name you are going to access it's going to route internally to different services so that saves you some cost if you are not to use ingress but you know the uh, kubectl get service if you were to expose all these three deployments as a load balancer you would be spending your money on three load balancers but now you're spending money on just one load balancer and relying on ingress to route the traffic internally to different services so you are saving some costs there okay so that's the load balancer ip copy that and edit my etc host file and paste that ip and i'm going to call this nginx.example.com right now my laptop knows if i type in nginx.example.com it knows where to route the traffic to it so it, now it resolves to this load balancer ip in my kubernetes cluster and that is actually listening on these three ports and we've created the ingress route for this web entry point so when i hit nginx.example.com it's actually going through this entry point and according to the ingress route because we have nginx.example.com in our request it's going to get routed to the appropriate backend service let's try it out and now if i go and do nginx.example.com there we go so we have reached the nginx welcome page so it's working fine right kubectl get ingress routes and we have this nginx next ingress route we should be able to see that in the dashboard as well so in the router if i explore now there is this one extra so last time when i showed you we only had these two entries so now in the host is nginx or example.com and the entry point is web it's going to get us to it is going to redirect the traffic to this this service and http service and you will see the service is this one nginx one type is load balancer and still we don't have any middlewares we will look at middlewares in a different video right and if i click on this one you will still see all those details and in another video we will see how to secure this nginx web service using uh, tls certificates with let's encrypt and once you do that you will see the certificate details here and if you are using any middlewares you will see those details here so that's the entry point for web that's the router that we've got routing logic we've got and that's the backend service so that's how it all glues together right in here i'm going to delete that 
ingress route nginx and if i refresh it now it doesn't know where to route the traffic the traffic pod ingress controller now doesn't know if i type in nginx.example.com we don't have a valid route right so let's take a look at the traffic dashboard and the router is now to that route is gone so internally it doesn't know how to route the traffic to let's take a look at other examples now so i've deleted the ingress route that i've created and what else we've got to ingress road let's take a look at the second example so here it's again exactly the same thing the only difference is the match section so if it's either nginx.example.com or nginx.example.org it's going to take us to this nginx backend service let's try that out so for that i'm going to edit my etc host file again and add nginx.example.org as well save that and kubectl create minus l let's create that ingress route kubectl get ingress routes we have that let's describe that ingress route so that to make sure that we've got everything right yes the match is nginx.example.com or nginx.example.org right back in here if i refresh nginx.example.com still works fine and if i change that to nginx.example.org it still works fine Cool. And in the entry point, we have again the host is nginx.example.com or example.org. Right. Let's take a look at another example kubectl delete ingress route nginx. Right. What have we got now? So let's take a look at this third example now. Three ingress route.yaml. So this one is an example of how you can add multiple rules. In the last two examples, we just had one rule. So now we have three rules. If the host is nginx.example.com, forward to the nginx deploy main service. If it's blue.nginx.example.com, forward it to the blue service. If it's green.nginx.example.com, forward it to the green service. That's it. It's quite simple. Let's create that kubectl create minus f three ingress route dot yaml get ingress routes describe ingress route yes we have these three rules All right I'm gonna edit the etc host file so nginx or example dot com will take us to the the default the main nginx deployment blue dot nginx.example.com dot com and green dot nginx dot example dot com save that and in the terminal if i go to nginx.example.com okay so that's our main nginx example and if i go to blue.nginx.example it's i'm blue so this is being served by the uh, the other nginx deployment and if i go to green.nginx dot example dot com i'm green cool that's working and back in here you can see the nginx rule so we created three rules in a single ingress route and the entry points are all web and you can see the backend service that it's connecting to if i click one of them you will see all these details right delete this kubectl delete ingress route nginx and the routes are gone in the dashboard as well now let's take a look at the fourth example for ingress route dot yaml Okay, so here it's again a change in the match that we are doing. What it says is if the host contains nginx.example.com and the header contains this key and this value combination, then route the traffic to this service. Otherwise, it won't route the traffic. Okay, so let me edit my etc host file first and I'm going to delete everything but just keep the nginx.example.com. Okay, so all I've got is nginx.example.com and let's create this service kubectl create minus f ingress route dot yaml kubectl get ingress routes yes we do have describe yep if the host is nginx.example.com and if there's a header that contains this key and value forward the traffic to this particular service by the way these are not single quotes these are backticks so make sure to use that correctly and now if i there's this rule that we just created and if i do nginx.example.com should i be seeing it or not i shouldn't be uh, this is from the cache i'm going to refresh 404 page not found that's because only if the request has nginx.example.com and a header then it will be redirected to this service so now we're just using nginx.example.com we're not passing any headers so we're not directed to the right service so i'm going to do that from the command line here curl minus h 
I've got in my history somewhere, test.example.com. Yep. Okay, so now my host name contains nginx.example.com. I'm not accessing it by IP address, but I'm accessing it by host name. And I'm passing a header with a key from and a value that contains test at example.com. So now I should be directed to that particular nginx service. Yeah, I can see welcome to nginx page. And if I change the header to something else, for example, example.org, it shouldn't let me in. Yeah, 404 page not found. That's because it's expecting a header of this format. All right, so I'm going to delete this now. Let's take a look at the traffic dashboard. Yes, we have that. kubectl delete ingress route. Right, so now we can take a look at the fifth example, ingress route. Okay, so what are we doing here? It's exactly the same as my previous example, but instead of an actual header match, we are doing a regex header match. So if the host contains nginx.example.com and a header contains this key and a regular expression value, if the value of this from field contains example, then route the traffic to this particular service. Otherwise, don't. And here, if I do a curl nginx.example.com again, 404 page not found. And if I do a curl minus h, as you can see here, I'm passing nginx.example.com as the host name and not the IP address. And I've got a header that contains from as the key. And I've got example in the value field. That's what I'm expecting here. And I can see welcome to nginx page. So that's working good. And if I don't have that, for example, if I change that to something like main.example.org or anything, blah, blah, blah. I should still be able to see welcome to nginx page because it's routing the traffic to the nginx service as long as it contains example in the value field kubectl describe ingress route yes so that's what we are actually looking for and let's say if i delete that example and do nginx.com or something and 404 page not found okay delete in restaurant and let's take a look at the final example the last example okay so this is a bit complex than the last one so exactly the same as the previous one and the one before that but we are doing an r here either nginx.example.com on its own so if you access if the request is come in for nginx.example.com it will be directed to that service or the request is coming for nginx.example.org and it contains this header, then we should be allowed access. So let's edit etc host file because I want also want to try this domain nginx.example.org, edit and paste it here. So I've got nginx.example.com and nginx.example.org resolving to the load balancer IP address of traffic, which is where all these entry points are listening to. Save that, kubectl create minus f, six inverse routes, kubectl get inverse routes, describe inverse route. Okay, so we've got this host is nginx.example.com or a combination of these two. Let's try this out. Refresh, yeah, I can see welcome to nginx page because I'm just browsing it as nginx.example.com and I can also show you in the command terminal here. Cool nginx.example.com so this should work because we've got this case here yep that's working and curl nginx.example.org will it work it won't work because it has to be nginx.example.org along with this header let's try this out nginx.example.org it doesn't work nginx.example.org let's also pause the header header is going to be from and it's main at example dot let's say example dot org still page not found it's expecting example dot com yep welcome to nginx web page cool okay i think i've covered let's delete that ingress route yep i think um i only wanted to show all those six um, examples that i've got and if you want to learn more about these ingress routes the place to go for is traffic dot io and learn 
traffic proxy and in here go to routing and load balancing uh, so sorry providers and then kubernetes ingress route yeah that, that's the place you need to go if you want to try um other things as well so that's the ingress route with a bit more example here so maybe you can try anything if you want to further learn something about this right i will leave this with you guys to try if you've got any questions let me know i will see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning bye bye